environmental approach, data becomes very important, and this is something very important for me, um, that there's a cumulative power of passive sensing, right, as I was describing it earlier, our, our devices at passive sensors are much less complicated than our brains, but cumulatively, since they're on all the time and there's so many of them, they produce much more sensory data than perhaps we do, right? So I want to argue that the data that in fact is being gathered by these devices is sensory experience. Mickey Sunshine. So, so this calls on us to rethink the body. The body, as I'm saying, is implicated in a total environmental situation, so media impacts it first and foremost via the impact on the situation. Right? Again, the body is a vast set of sensibilities for society in white sense, of sensibilities operating quasi-autonomously at a plethora of scales and also at um, a variant set of levels of complexity. Um, the dispersed sensory experience of the body proceeds and informs emergent higher order sense perceptual and conscious experience of the body. Right? So we have a kind of dispersed body that's directly in terms of sensing the environment prior to the organized body that we all know from our understanding of perception of consciousness and embodiment. It's limited because ultimately Whitehead funnels um, sensation via this mode of perception of causal efficacy through the body. Right? Nonetheless, it's through the body, right? So it's, it's in terms of the witness of the body with environmental situation, but the focus is on the body, not on the environmental situation, right? So it restricts the incorporation of the environment to what Whitehead calls non-sensuous perception. That is, um, those sensory processes leading up to an informing perception, but by the time perception happens, which are part of the past now, right, and hence not sensuous or not live, right? Um, so, I want to argue that we need to accept Whitehead's ontology in some ways, although it needs to be adapted since he had no thinking about media, and we need to develop a different account of uh, human sensory uh, experience which doesn't put the emphasis on perception at all in either of these forms, but it puts the emphasis on sensation. So I want to introduce a concept of non-perceptual sensation. 